Your problem isn't JavaScript. It's not a coding language. It's not Python. It's not React. It's not a new framework that's out there. None of those are your problems. You, like, all this time I've been telling you to master JavaScript, master React, master the basics, master the fundamentals, master all this stuff. But the real problem is none of those things. The real problem is actually your lack of mastery of your own self. What do I mean by this? How are you going to master JavaScript when you can't master the fact that you can put a two-hour time on your calendar and just commit to it and actually do it? How are you going to become better at React if you can't get yourself to sleep early so you're not exhausted the next day so that when you come to code, you just quit because you can't do it anymore? Right? So those are the things that you have to think about. It's not just sitting there and coding. That's one very small technical aspect that, yes, you need to actually improve. But what we're talking about here, guys, is your mastery of self, your own skills, your brain, your own energy. Are you sleeping on time? If you're not sleeping on time and you can't get yourself to sleep on time, then you're waking up tired. If you're waking up tired and you're waking up exhausted, you're already going to your job or you're going to your school or wherever you're going. And then you're coming back to code and you're exhausted. No wonder you don't like coding. No wonder it's so hard for you. No wonder you're not making pro the progress that you've been wanting to make over a prolonged period of time and why you're stuck and why you feel like you might even be stuck in tutorial hell. It's very simple. You have to master your own self. Okay. Start off with simple things. Can you go to sleep on time? When you wake up, can you wake up on the time that you said you were going to wake up? When you go to, maybe you, maybe, you know, physical part is very important, guys. Like, I know on this channel, I don't talk a lot about physical stuff, but that part is very important to get your mind right. To put your mind in an optimal state for you to not be tired. It's directly connected to your brain. Like, your phys this is why we're physiological creatures, Right? physicality and psychology, they both work, they're intertwined. For example, if I told you to think calmly, you could probably do that right now. But what if I took you and made you run at full sprint speed for one to two or three minutes up a hill? And then I told you to think calmly with your heart rate at 200 beats per minute. Now you won't be able to think calmly. Why? Because I've changed your physiology, something physical, and now something psychological has happened. Something in your brain has changed. So you think at a different level, okay? So this is why this is important for you to actually take into your mind. So can you sleep on time? Can you go work out and take care of your health? Basic things. Because if you're fat and you have diseases, you're just going to die early. So that means you're not going to be able to make as much money in your coding career. Let's just say your ultimate goal is to become a software developer that's amazing, work for 20, 30, 40 years, maximize the amount of money, and then you retire, right? But what if like you die at 50 or 60 because you have arthritis, you have diabetes, you've developed uh, obesity, you have um, breathing problems, you have blood pressure problems, you suffer from a stroke. If all of those things happen, well, guess what? I'm actually gonna be a better developer because I'm gonna be able to work longer. I'm gonna be able to learn the new frameworks while you might not even be alive. Okay, so I know all these things sound like fun and like, oh my God, like it's just a health thing. I don't really need to worry about health. Like how does that coding thing cause you? Like tell me about code. I am telling you about code. This is directly related to coding. If you're dead, you can't code. Okay, let me explain that again. If you're dead, you can't code. There's nothing to code. You're dead. So my priority and my job for you is to make sure that you become the best version of you and you also become a great developer. And for that, I have to make sure that your mind is right and I have to make sure your body is right and then I have to make sure your coding skills are right. But your whole thing with, I've been trying to get myself to code for years and months. That's so many people's stories. That used to be my story too. I've been trying to get myself to code and I just keep quitting and then I come back into it and it's so fun and I quit. But I, but I commit to coding tomorrow. I commit to coding this upcoming week and then you don't do it. You commit, 
but then you don't follow through. It's just a lack of mastery of your own self. You can't get yourself to do the things that you said you're going to do. So it, we can't even talk about JavaScript, guys. We can't even talk about React. We can't, we can't even talk about the command line or the terminal or learning new frameworks or learning new libraries or your GitHub repo or your portfolio or your LinkedIn or your resume. We can't talk about that because you can't get yourself to do stuff. If I got you a job today, you won't even be able to show up on time for like a month in a row. You're going to get fired. So... We have to get the basics right. We have to start with the brain. We have to start with the body. We just have to start there, okay? So can you just start off with simple stuff? Like, hey, sleep early and sleep on time because your memory is a very important part of the puzzle when it comes to you becoming a software developer. It's an extremely important part of the puzzle. If your brain isn't working, you're not remembering the functions that you learned yesterday. You're not remembering the algorithms you figured out yesterday. Your brain isn't working in overdrive to come up with the connections, the solutions to the problems that you're facing. You're going to be stuck. So you need to first get your mind right, okay? So sleep early. Then tomorrow, can you go work out? And if you can't work out and you haven't worked out, go for a walk. Go for a walk. How about that? Go for a long walk. Okay, walk for 20 minutes, walk for 10, 20 minutes. Just start with that, something simple. Then come back and get yourself to code, okay? Start with simple steps. But really, a lot of it is just the lack of self-mastery, like not being able to get yourself to do what, you're, what you say you're gonna do, okay? It's, it creates dishonesty, and you start creating dishonesty in yourself. And honestly, even on my team, I'm sick of people that are dishonest. I don't even, I'm not even, I'm literally choosing to not even work with the people anymore who have, you know, a level of dishonesty and a level of low integrity. The reason is because it's like poison. If I let that be around me, it's going to poison me. And so it doesn't matter how talented somebody is or how skilled somebody is. If they're not honest with themselves and they lack integrity with themselves, I can't have them around me. It doesn't matter how long they've worked with me, None of that matters because ultimately they're not just failing me. They're ultimately failing themselves. And I can't have that, right? If I need it to be a lesson for them to be able to hold themselves accountable, to make themselves in integrity, then I'm going to do that for them, okay? So that's what you need to do for yourself. And I, I'm, I promise you, I was never like this. For a long time, I was not like this, Okay. But even right now, when I'm going from being a couch potato to running a marathon, I had to do it through a lot of discipline. It doesn't matter how I feel. I wake up tomorrow and I go and I run. Now I'm training Muay Thai for 100 days. It doesn't matter. I go five days a week to train. It's incredibly hard to train. I wake up at 4.30 a.m. I'm at the gym at 5. I train for two hours until like 7 a.m. Then I go and have a lifting session. Then I go do that. Then I come here and then I shoot these videos. And then I not only shoot these videos, but then I work for 10 to 12 hours each day. Then around 8 p.m. I go to sleep and then I rinse and repeat and I do that every single day. But because I care about my body, I also have my meals planned for 2 and 5 p.m. So my macros are perfectly on point. So I'm eating clean. I have high amount of protein, all of that. That's what you need to bring to your own life, okay? Don't just think of yourself as like this one little thing that you're doing. I'm just doing coding, so I'm just going to do that. But in the process, I, it doesn't matter. I'll get fat, all of this stuff. You know, we, I have David on my team. I love David, okay? Uh, he's, a lot of times he edits our videos. You guys know him. He, he done, did our Mern Stack tutorial. But he, he started doing all this coding stuff on our team, and then he started gaining all this weight, and he got fat. And so, you know, I'm even talking to him and I'm like, bro, what is going on? And so now that we're here in Colombia, we have the whole team here. I just got him on a crazy diet, which, you know, and he's been cutting weight. He's lost like seven or eight pounds in the last few weeks. And he's literally like, dude, I can breathe better now. He's like, I had this fat person breath, breathing where I couldn't breathe properly. And now he can breathe better. Don't you think that's going to help him with coding? Imagine you're sitting there, you're frustrated, you're trying to work on a problem, and you literally can't breathe right, right? If you can't breathe right, do you think that's going to help you or hurt you when you're trying to solve a coding problem? Who do you think is going to be able to sit there longer and code? Me or somebody else who's even in a better shape, okay? If you look at Magnus Carlsen, who's the number one chess player in the world, 
He's fit. He's incredibly fit. You would say, wait, it's a game of mine. You literally do nothing. You're just sitting there on a chessboard playing. Like, why does he need to be actually fit for that? That's the thing. That's my point. You actually need to be incredibly physically fit for being a good chess player. Bobby Fischer, who you might have heard of, he was incredibly fit. He was a great swimmer. Because in order to be able to sit there over the board for six or eight hours and focus with, with great intensity and produce great ideas, you actually need to be really fit. That's just the truth. It's just the case. The world champions were like that, okay? So I want you to focus on that, okay? I want you to focus on living a fulfilling life. My purpose isn't just to make you the greatest coder ever. My purpose here is to make you the best version of you possible, okay? So that in 10, 30, 50, 60 years, you're somebody who you respect. You're somebody who you admire. You're somebody who you want to be around. And you're somebody who's alive, a lot of you want to get married. You want to have kids. Well, would you not want to be in a fit condition to be able to play with them? Right? If you, have, if you are the one who develops all these problems and diseases and health problems in a relationship, it sucks for your partner. That shit sucks for your partner because then they're there and they have to take care of you over a prolonged period of time, take you to the hospital, take you to the doctors. I knew because I, I grew up like that. I had to do that for my, I had to do that for my mom because she wasn't in a good health. And then there are all these things that come with it. And you have to become, you have to take on a role of a caretaker. And so this is beyond coding. This is beyond JavaScript. This is your life. So I need you to understand this. I need you to really take it seriously and do it with a lot of love and passion. Self-mastery is the first place. Get yourself to sleep on time. Get yourself to eat good foods. Get yourself to go on walks. You'll start thinking better your stress levels will be lower. Then when you'll be coding, you'll be able to code better for longer. You'll enjoy coding because you're not going to be just stressed all the time while trying to code. You're going to be like, I handle so much stress on the daily. Coding is actually not that much stress. I can do it. Easily I can do it. Okay. A lot of it is a mindset. So start committing to doing something and you can put in the comments below. It could be something simple. Like I'm going to go for a walk right now. I'm going to go for a walk you know, tonight at this time, I'm going to go for a walk tomorrow. Here's another thing I know, okay, this is funny, It's but like the longer people put away the thing they're going to do, the less likely they are to do it. So that's one of the things that I've learned. When people are like, you know, if you tell somebody, set a goal, and then they're like, oh yeah, I'll set the goal for next week. They're the least likely people to do it. They're like, yes, tomorrow at 8 p.m. I'm going to do it. It's like, what the fuck are you doing right now? You're clearly sitting here watching this fucking video right? So why can't you just go for a walk now? Okay. So I need you to put together a plan. Okay. The long, the farther away you put it, the, f the more I know, and you know, the less likely you are to do it. Okay. So put it as close to whenever you can as possible. Okay. So if it's right now, you could do it right now. If it's in 20 minutes, you could do it right uh, in 20 minutes. Leave a comment below what you're going to be doing. So it could be you're going to go for, for a walk for 10 minutes. It could be you're going to sleep early at 8 or 9 p.m. tonight. It could be I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. or something. Or it could be I'm going to go and code for 30 minutes right now. Or I'm going to go and code, you know, in the next hour. Whatever it is, drop it below. Let everybody see the action that you're doing. Hold yourself publicly accountable. And for all of you guys in the community, when you see that, go upvote that person's comment. Don't just do it for yourself and be fucking selfish. Help the other person. It's a community. So go and upvote their comment. Reply to them. Let them know that you're cheering for them, okay? Maybe even exchange information with these people, okay? Like, how about, like, you guys get on a WhatsApp or something, okay? Give yourself like a WhatsApp number or I don't know, some group, like somebody can create a group in their Discord and be like, hey, join the Discord. I don't care. Find a way to communicate with each other, okay? Get connected with each other and hold each other accountable, okay? Start with the WhatsApp number or something simple. I just don't want it to be anything spammy, right? Because sometimes there's spam accounts that show up. Oh, message me on this WhatsApp. And it's not clearly not me. And you can see the username isn't me. I'm glad YouTube came up with that username thing. So there you have it. Stop worrying about mastering JavaScript or React or any of those frameworks. Master yourself first.